guys, what's going on? It's the Lemon King back here for the Channel Spotlight and Review Series episode number 6. And in this awesome episode, we are reviewing Sugioi Minecraft. And he has a Twitter, which will be down in the description below, at Sugioi Minecraft, as seen right on the page, right back here. And he uploads Minecraft gaming, including Minecraft Hunger Games, SMP, and he is starting a UHC with many more series. He doesn't upload that often a week, and his in-game name is not PewDiePie13. He has made banners for other, and he also does collabs with friends a lot, mainly Hunger Games, but some other mini games as well. So welcome back to the channel and review series, channel spotlight and review series. And as we always start, we're going to start with the channel logo. And the channel logo, and I can't complain about this, that's my channel logo type it's my minecraft face and this works as long as it represents your in-game character that's exactly so as long as your minecraft character is his face is similar to this or really close to this then it'll match if it's something completely out of the ordinary then it's not gonna work so just keep in mind on that but his looks pretty darn good and also a really nice banner down here easy to read the text well organized faded out background standing out front ground really well done and he does he has make banners for so maybe if you're watching the studio you can make me one and I can uh, use that I'm still looking for a new channel banner I like mine but it's kinda getting a little old so seeing if I can change it up a little bit so if you could that'd be awesome so now we can move on into the main grid so let's go check out his videos and always how we start is we look at the well back to the home page quick you should have an introduction video to your channel and also a, uh, a like info tab because that's the first thing people see when they get your video they can watch that very quickly it plays automatically so people can see this right off the bat and get a good idea what your channel is for without having to scroll through and watch direct videos another thing that is cool is you can add on this feature with the different types of YouTube layout pages you can show people what channels you have subscribed to and that gives people a general idea who you'd like to watch and who you take off of and it gives people an idea to go check other videos and they know what kind of videos you're making if you share the common uh, stuff so we can move on to the uploads now the main thing about uploads and the very eye-catching first feature as I've stated before in other videos is the thumbnail now the Hunger Games thumbnail what I there's a do and I don't like. I do like the consistency with the logo and everything, but what I would do if you could to change it up a little bit is change the background image. Now, right where it is all on the back, like looking at number 17 here, right where that picture is in the very back, that's what I would change to give it a unique feature every single video. Take it from some point in your video and take that image and plug that back into there and it'll look a lot cooler and it'll change it up instead of seeing the same screen. But I do like the format, the number, the name, the ender portal background, the stage, and your character. That's good to keep, but I would change the background and that would make it really, really cool if you could do that. Otherwise, everything else is pretty good. Um, this one is kind of hard to read, but you know, it happens. That's a pretty cool, neat looking logo made there. I don't see a problem. So let's check out the recent one. Hey guys, what's going on? It is me, Squirt Q. Welcome back to another Minecraft survival games on the. Oh, I got the sword. I got the sword. So, one thing I can see right off the bat is the volume is kind of low. Um, it could be mine. I have my volume turned down. <laughs> Oh, let's go. But it does sound a little bit low, so if you can edit that a little bit. And also another thing, there is no intro and outro, and I will explain that again. Just for this one, if you haven't seen my other videos, the intro and outro is important because it gives like a good like emphasis. What we're talking about in speech class, for a good example of reference, is that there are speeches on special occasions, and one of them is a speech of introduction. And basically, the person doing that will introduce the main speaker and talk good things about them, give them credibility, and get the audience in a state of mind to be like, yes, we want to see this guy. So that's really what your introduction on your YouTube videos is meant to do. Like, yes, we want to see this video. We're interested in so they know what kind of video they're watching. And also an outro video is good 
to close out the video to say thank you and also maybe if you want to add in some uh, spotlights you can send if you want to watch another the last episode of Hunger Games click this link here if you want to go check out another channel go click this link here check out another series click this link and that will drive more attention to other links too so just keep that in mind um, this is set up really nicely uh, has the Minecraft what is Minecraft if you have if you don't know that it's good for people to see that um, what server you're playing on if it's not self-explanatory like it's stated in the video but it's good to have that down there like I haven't heard of this server so it's good to have it like if you play Mindplex it's more known so you some people don't put it in like I don't think I do really often but sometimes I do um, Twitch and a nice spacing in between them Twitter right here um, and music it's good to have yourself built credibility and so you're not kinda like copyright jacking so yeah let's keep moving on to the playlist section and this channel has no playlist that is one thing I do not like I like when people set up playlists because it keeps things more organized so I've said this in other videos and I'm gonna say it again guess what I'm saying it again so basically playlists allow viewers to track a video series that you have going. So for instance, your Hunger Games series, that is what you want to put into a playlist. Create a playlist that has all your Hunger Games episodes in it. So if someone comes on to watch, they can go into that playlist and watch all the videos one through whatever and just keep going so they don't have to skip in between and keep going to different videos and searching for them. They're all right there. So if they want to see all of them, they can watch all of them at the same time and it's less struggle and your viewers like that when they don't have to go hunting around. Another thing like um, back when I first came into YouTube and I watched Good Boulder Fist, I basically started out interested in Minecraft and where it came from. So I started out back at his first episode. And what I did was I went to his playlist that had the first episode or the first season in it and watched that straight through. So I didn't have to keep searching around hopping through his other videos. I could just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way up until whatever video on that, like three hundred and some or four hundred, somewhere up in there. So that is a huge benefit to playlists and they're very important. Uh, your channel subscriptions are good to have, but what I would have on here is channels that I would have a list of channels that you play with, the people that you associate with, your friends, so people can see who you collaborate with, and people can go check out them too, and you can exchange viewerships. And also have a channel, a uh, link with your favorite YouTuber, so that those, so people coming on know the kind of content you watch and where they can get an idea of what content they're going to see from your channel, so they know you're not getting it from the. You know, you're basing off Skydive Minecraft or Minecraft Gang or Yogg's Cast. They know that that's the kind of people that you're basing it off of, and that's the kind of content they're going to expect. So let's go over to the About page now. And there's nothing on here. What I would do for your About page, just like on your home page, adding a intro video, I would have some basic info on here about your channel, what kind of stuff you do, contact information, Google+, Twitter, Facebook, friends, and all that kind of stuff so people can get in contact with you, so they can see what you're doing, so they can check out your links. It's all on one page to make it a lot easier for people to find. And that's the whole uh, big thing about YouTube that we're going to take off from this channel spotlight is organization and order in general is key to success in YouTube. If you are unorganized and the people can't find what they're looking for, they don't know what you're doing, they don't know where your links are, they have to go digging around video after video, people are going to get tired of looking and just leave. So when you have it more organized, then you can go check out any, you can go check out my videos, for example, or you can go check out the famous YouTubers, for example. All of their videos are organized. So that's why they can get so many more viewers. So keep that in mind as a big takeaway from this but everything else seems pretty cool maybe add a intro video description and do the things that I said in the past episode but related channels so maybe someday you can get that little check mark next to your name but as you can see it's not as hard looking at these names without a check mark so 
as always to close out my channel spotlight series i press that subscribe button and say thank you all for watching hope you all enjoyed if you did please remember to leave that like button it'd be greatly appreciated and go subscribe to sugioi 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 minecraft on his through his link down in the description below if you have any questions for me leave them in the comments below and if you have any things to add for sugioi make sure you comment them down below just remember to use plus my name or plus sugioi main sugioi minecraft to direct it to us so we can see it a lot quicker so on that note thank you all for watching hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you guys later